Hey guys, RC here, back with Starter's Order 7. This is episode 9. And, uh, I just have not found my footing in this game. I'm still liking it, I just have no clue what I'm doing. So if you like watching somebody just struggle and fail, you're on the right channel. Welcome. <laughs> I I, I want to get better. I, I think it's just the horses, but... What's troubling to me is, you know, if we look at Malio, I think that's a real, I think that's a good horse. It could use some more extra speed. I get it. But we've got really good enthusiasm. We've got potential that's almost at 75. It's over 70. And it's possible it could get over 75 next year as a three-year-old. But I, she's just not performing. So we're in April. I'm trying to run the horses a little bit less because uh, some of you have talked about that. Um, even, with, even with high constitutions and the game will let you run them. I'm trying to run, wait a month, and then book them, you know, for down the road. So that's why we're kind of running in the same window. Uh, that could be a problem as we move along. I'll have to get a little bit better at keeping track. But uh, speaking of, how many horses do you guys normally race? And what year do you race up to? Ooh. Um, coughing? Two weeks. Got an infection. All right, well, so she's out. I don't have, don't believe I have her scheduled. Yeah, there was nothing I was, there was nothing I could find. I was looking for a, uh, I was looking for a grade three. Uh, you know what? Let's see, five furlongs. We're at least two weeks out. So April 14th, May. Class three handicap. She's got a 90. That's at the high end. Why don't we go ahead and enter her there? She'll be carrying the most weight by a pound. And I guess that's off of your rating. And we'll see. I mean, it's, it's a... It's a class three. That's that's kind of what I was looking for. So that should be more than two weeks out. Let her get running. We'll check as we get a little closer to that because that'll be our last race. All right, Benru Adventure today. And we are the favorites in a seven furlong. Oh, I'm sorry, a five furlong maiden. Fingers crossed, boys. Fingers crossed. All right, the tipsters, tipsters like us, parading well. I'm going to go ahead and put some money on my horse. What's the worst that could happen, right? All right, we're on the outside here. Good break out of the gate. We're on the outside. Uh, sophistication is really out there wow coming up on the two furlong pull all right benru adventure and taraya are making the run drenna is also coming we're making pace here at the furlong pull we have caught up with sophia stication and we're run oh my god are you kidding he is gonna punk us i thought he blew his wad early and we're going to have to settle for a second place finish. Oh, I did not think Sophia Sophistication had it in them. I thought they were out too far, too fast. And I thought when they were coming back, I thought it was over. Oh, that is brutal. That was, oh. We struggled for pace. All right. Well, that's something to 
try to figure out moving forward. But a second place finish, we're up to almost $7,000 in career earnings. And we've got a couple of days before our next race. So we'll get up there. We've got Dominant and Malio going today. Dominant is running in Farmington. Malio over in Pomona. So we will have two different jockeys, I am sure. And Dominant is a middle of the pack, carrying the most weight. Cherished Princess is the favorite. She's parading well. Dominant is keen and slightly agitated. All right. This, you know, I'm waiting. I, I still have the, the pacifiers off. I'm kind of waiting for the head lad to suggest a pacifier because that's what uh, they, the game says that the, they should do that. We'll see. We'll see. We're bringing up the rear, not looking good early. The two furlong pole, we are out of the picture. It is Holy Norma out with a big lead. We've got a couple of horses chasing, including Timely Approach. Dominant has moved up into fifth position at the furlong pole. Does he have enough to hold on? Looks like he's there, but we're not going to catch up with the lead pack. We made a run right at the end on Holy Norma, but it was too little too late. We pick up $249, which doesn't pay for our entry fee. Never able to challenge. I think this horse was not putting it all in. All right, so that could have something to do with a pacifier, maybe. And I think we may we may just have to try a pacifier next time out. All right, Callie and Kando's Dream. Callie, very calm. Kando's Dream, agitated. Malio, moving well, primed and ready to go. We will go ahead and save that up just in case. And... Five furlong race. Looks like we broke well. We're in the middle of the pack on the white horse. All right, we come out with the stalkers. Eh, a little bit. And immediately fall to the back of the pack. Two furlongs and we are fourth from the back. Eating dirt. It's Kelly and Minnie Min Minster way out in front. One furlong to go. You've got Tamarood making a run, as is Nicky Nutjob. They might get into... Oh, and they do. They overtake Minnie Minster. Doesn't help us any. Not quicken. Ridden as a stalker, ran lazy. Could never get into the race. All right, well, that's disappointing. So a fifth place finish. Where's the uh, C instructions? So we finished fifth with blinders, with blinkers, I'm sorry. So let's try a noseband. I don't know what the, I mean, I know the blinkers are to help keep you from see, getting distracted from horses around you. But if he's just excitable and, you know, and a little lazy. Now he's got good enthusiasm though. Don't know. Don't know. All right, well, let's go out and check Putin today uh, out at the track. A third and a fourth place finish in his last two maidens. We are not favorites here. Uh, we are being picked by one. and But he is, uh, he is the worst better at 30%. Parading well. We've got uh, an agitated horse in the group. Pretty big field here. 
So hopefully we can at least come into some money, if nothing else. Very large crowd. We're near the outside ranks here. We got off cleanly, it looked like. Moving into the middle of the track. Moving up with the, with the leaders here into second. Two furlong pull. We are second. We do have Surrealist and Isle of Ellis making a run. And we are drifting off the pace quickly. One furlong. We have fallen back to fifth. And we have more horses coming. Oh, man. He's laying into him a little bit. I think we finished about seventh. And it was seventh. Faded. And only the top five got money. Didn't have the pace for most of the race. So how do you fix pace? And what is the rating that leads to pace? I do not know. I don't know. We're going to skip those. All right. I do have... I do have a yearling sale coming up into the month. But we do have one race before that. And that's going to be third half. Let's check out the sales. We've got a four-year-old. She's won a couple of handicaps. She is laid back. Is that worth taking a, a flyer on? I mean, that's a lot of good races. I mean, they're, you know, granted, they're class three through five handicaps. Were those, they didn't look like selling races, though. No, they're just handicaps. Just handicaps. Finished second in a class two. One a class two, one a class two, second in a class two, and then one in a class one allowance race. Okay. Tell you what, let's make a let's make a bid on her. She might be worth looking at. Let's get up here and just work our bids. And we got her. We'll quit the auction. See what she actually looks like. Okay. Good extra speed. Nothing else. So maybe if we can breed her with a horse with some positive ratings down here, that gives us something to work with. Do we want to throw her in to... She's going to be running already on May 22nd. Let's take a look at that race. Miss Aura, May, June. Oh, wow. Why are they booking, unless this is something that the AI does, they book two races in close proximity, and then they stay in the one they look like they'll have the best option at? Maybe? Bigger field there. That's a class one allowance race. And that's a grade three. I mean, I'd rather try to get a grade three win. All right, well, we'll figure it out. All right, so fifth, second, seventh, and seventh in our maiden runs today. Now, I did see that other horse. Was it this one that we just bought? Yeah, we lost. We lost two maidens and then won a handicap or finished in the money on a handicap and then went maiden again. So that, that was just a few weeks later and they jumped from six furlongs to a mile. That horse does not have the stamina to run a mile. 
So how did it win? I can't answer that question. No idea. All right, well, third half is going off today. George, ooh, George W. I know that's a pretty good horse from, uh, from Chris Ormy's save. We'll see. I guess we'll run head-to-head -head with him and see how good he is. He is definitely the favorite. I'm going to put some money on him just to try to make something. We are way at the bottom of this. Well, George, oh, I should have looked at that before I bet. Doggone it. Third half, parading lazily. I think we're going to get toasted here. It's not looking good. We're in the middle of the pack. Slow break, right to the rear. We do have a mile. We're in the middle of the track. Looks like a clear lane there. All right, so we broke up into the top five leaders. Hopefully that was not an overexertion of our reserves to make a run late. All right, the two furlong pole, it's Mr. Das, George W. Baharat, and hold on, Julio. We are fading out of the picture, and I think third half is done for. We're going to have to reevaluate what we want to do with third half. My concern is, is if it's a horse that I like, right? I don't want to run it in a selling race even to get wins. So, I don't know. I don't know. George W. finishes second. It cost me some money. So that was nice. Mid-division, midfield halfway, soon weakened, outclassed again. Damn it. I am not happy with that. All right. Is this a this is a yearling sale, yes? All right. Well, since we're here, let's go ahead and check some of these horses out. We do have some grade winners including a English couple of English horses. All right. We're going to go we're going to go after a bunch of these. So basically what I'm doing here is once we start getting the going once, going twice, I'm clicking on the skip lot and that, you know, you do run the risk if somebody outbids you that you could lose them. But typically, I, I think I've only been juked on a horse once. And then, you know, that way it's just, it's quicker. You know, you can bypass a few seconds if you're in a hurry. All right, 530,000 on that one. This one's going to go up near the 500,000 mark, if not over. And there we've put it over. That was Cruiser. All right, so we're still on this one. Then we're going to have one with no reserve and then one last horse. And this one's 416, so I'm going to go ahead and run it up to a little amount, maybe a little high, but that's all right. We scared everybody else off. All right, let's check out these yearlings. Head of Steam, what do we think? Solid potential, no constitution, so it won't run often. Poor confidence, extra speeds a little on the low side. Hard to, hard to say what we're going to have there. Strictly pink, nothing at all. Cruiser is normal with, and we've got some good bars here, but actually really good cruising burst maybe that would be good 
for for short distances, but he's bred for a mile four. Wow. Beaten up. Beaten down. Rose of the moon. Nothing. No potential at all. Indy slot. Solid all around horse, but you know, we're seeing this with one of our horses now. I don't think that's actually going to be good enough to be a successful racer. At least not for me. You know, I'm going to have to do better than that. And great shot. I don't think we had anything in that one. All right, we got breeder sales on May 3rd. Uh, there are there is at least one horse a four-year-old finishing in the money she's got two group twos and a group three win and Sophie's bow two group one wins has one group one winner, four group two. So there's something there. Acts of Grace, five group twos. So there could be something there. I think we're going to go after that horse. Uh, Happy Clapper has three group threes, or three grade threes. Reckway Striker, 10 group one wins. 17 group one wins for offspring. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go after Reckway, uh, after Happy Clapper as well. So we want Identity Parade and Happy Clapper. You and you. Now these will get expensive. For 2.4 million. All right, sold to me. That's good. We'll have a couple that go with no reserves that we'll wait through. And it goes relatively quickly. And Happy Clapper. I'm going to run it up a little bit. 1.16. And we pick her up. Let's check their ratings out. Pretty solid. Identity Parade. All right, kind of on the cusp. That maybe you know they they're both uh, they'll bo they're both fillies or mares, so we could put them in the barn. Happy Clapper. Actually, they're they're both breed mares, aren't they? Never mind. All right, so we want we're gonna go with the one point six. Oh, he's already allocated, so let's go with the one million and happy clapper. Nine out of eleven group one wins. We'll take a gamble there. And we are going to get to race in a couple of days. We'll go ahead and save that. Anything at auction worth looking at? Nope. And this is Amthal. All right. I really want to start seeing something out of some of these horses. Fit and ready to race. He's running in a grade three where he's finished in the money twice. Coping well, fit and ready to go. 
Oh, come on, horse. All right, this is on turf. Decent start into the first turn. We're out with the leaders. Hopefully we're holding our pace, but it, mm, we are running. Looks like we're pulling a sham here. This is what he tends to do a lot is to go out early. Can he hold on here? All right, two furlongs. Second position. Is he going to have anything in the tank to make a run? Back to fourth. Kelly's kitty is coming up. Inside the furlong. Come on. Looks like he's making a charge here. Into fourth. Make a push. Make a push. A top four finish, but, you know, in a field of seven. Eh, not too good. We do pick up $1,900 out of that. Closed up halfway and then weakened. Struggled in this class. Okay. Well, that at least tells us something. That at least tells us something. So that's multiple grade threes in a class one, right? And it said we struggled in this class. So the mile might be the right distance. But we want a... Let's go down... A month maybe at least a few weeks all right so there's a class five so we want to get out it we want to look for a class two if we can find it but I don't who knows I don't know if I want Class one, grade two, a class five handicap. Let's go ahead and enter that just to see if he can do it. I mean, it's, you know, what's the worst that could happen, right? Uh, let's see. Breeder sale is in July. All right. Let's go ahead and run these three races. We'll have Amthal coming back. Cashmere Brown. Oh, I'm just getting frustrated with her. Way at the bottom. Oh, my God. Parading well. All right. Fit and ready to race. Class two. This will be a class three. So, step down in race level. Can she up her game? Second from the rail. Got out to a good start. But then we quickly settle towards the back of the pack. All right, there's a move on the rail of sorts. Two furlong pull. It's time to start making some runs if you have it in you. She's coming up into the middle of the pack there. Uh, just gets overtaken by Noose Voila, but still running. Get some space. Nah. Six place finish. Just outside the money. Stayed on the same pace. Just didn't have anything. The horse loved the ground. Could have settled better. So if they don't settle, right? Let me pull out our little book here. Uh, did not settle. Page three. All right. It's genetic. They may need a pacifier. 
Now it says your stable lad will comment that they may benefit from a pacifier. But he has not said that. So I don't know nothing about you know what, let's go ahead and give, uh, put a noseband on her for next race. Or him. Him. Whatever. Whatever. All right. May 22nd, Miss Aura, our new horse that we picked up on an auction. Come on. 24 days since the last race and we did she did win that all right let's get out to the track all right we are actually favored here fellas i'm not gonna bet on her because I, i'm guessing that's bad luck now very calm first race for her with us All right, Miss Aura on the rail, got off to a good start, out with the leaders, but then settles into a stalking position. That's good. Stays ahead of the pack of four at the back. Liking the positioning. Moves to the outside in the turn. Two furlongs, running with the leaders, showing some heart. Definitely some speed to move up into second. Coming in at the furlong pole, we're one length back of So Precious. There is a burst out of nowhere. Just eases in front by half a length. Is she going to hold on? Widens the lead to about a length. And we've got a win. But it's not a horse that we did anything with. <laughs> That's okay. That is $23,000 put into our bank account. I am liking that. The distance was ideal. What a horse. Very good. Let's go ahead and get out of here. All right. So another win for her. She's just running in those five and six. And yeah, class one. grade three so that's a grade three win for us right there that is good news liking that a lot all right let's get to the next race here in a couple of days and it's amthal and we'll end the episode with amthal looking for a win 20 days since the last race 261 days since their last win we've been struggling in the grade threes we've dropped down to a class five heading down to texas are we we are not the favorite middle of the pack russian dance looking well primed and ready to go See, my problem is the, you know, condition races, handicaps, uh, I have no idea. Uh, Russian Dance is only a 68. So, technically, we are a better horse rating-wise, but, you know, we know ratings do go up and down. All right, we're starting middle of the pack here. A poor break out of the gate. Remind me to check his start rating there as we finish this race all right he moves over to the rail running with the leaders currently in second behind you're so vain rhythm stick russian dance in fourth but that's the horse to watch allegedly making a little run outside there's a run by us coming up at two and a half furlongs at the two furlong pole we have taken the lead over you're so vain Russian Dance and Rhythm Stick are back in trailing positions, third and fourth. The Furlong Pole, You're So Vain, is coming back on us, and Rhythm Stick is making a run, and it looks like we have 
spent all of our money to get up into that lead position. Can we hold on for third? Woo, that was close. I think we held on. I think we held on. We did. All right. Well, it's not a win, but it's some money. $844. Weaken down the stretch. This was a one mile. I think we need to maybe dial him back. But that wasn't a bad run. The ground did not suit. Okay. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's check that race again. A hard ground. View the form card. All right, the going was hard. Didn't like that. It was turf. So I think on that horse, I think we need to keep her on keep her on dirt. And I think maybe we dial her back to seven furlongs again. Maybe even six. Maybe even six. I thought maybe going a little longer because we were just starting to pick up in the seven furlong, but the mile we've we've weakened at the end. So I don't know, man. I'm that one mile is kind of her wheelhouse, but I don't think she's quite ready. So I'm thinking seven seven furlongs for her. Let me know what you guys think. All right, well. We've got some breeding horses going. They're all in full. We've got 29 yearlings that we've bought this year. We'll pick up 13 plus whatever we buy next year. And I have got some auctions to hit going forward. We've got a couple of breeders and a yearling. So you know the drill. I will go and uh, hit the auctions. I will set up some more races. And we'll see what transpires in the next go-round. You guys hit that like button for me if you like what you're seeing. Thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.